there are many maker platforms, uh, you know, from GitHub's to Appropedia and Instructables, and you name it. There's many platforms in which makers converge in order to have access to certain forms of information and data so that they can produce locally. Uh, open source communities are shaping up as we speak in many different places, both in terms of how they expand commerce, uh, you know, whether it's something like Etsy or you name it. But, so all these platforms uh, are, uh, there are many that are quite evolved and many that are very embryonic and I think we're seeing the, the, the arrival of a sort of second generation of these platforms that merge the interests. And I think that the needs at this point is really to simplify, uh, or the main need is to simplify the relationship between what the maker provides in the economy and what the consumer can get out of the maker. So the maker is per nature, uh, or by nature, a prosumer. And many people in the, in the maker uh, environment and community would think that everyone will become makers. I think that everyone can become a maker and should have a chance to be, but maybe for some it will be on the weekend and for others it will be a job. Uh, so I think it's important to not uh, eliminate uh, entirely that idea that we still need to create a way so that those that are not in the maker community can access the maker community in a very easy way. Uh, the, the second need, I would say, that perhaps comes second because there are already existing platforms, is to harmonize the platforms that, uh, that exist, uh, perhaps through uh, a certain number of uh, uh, focuses. So you can go thematically, uh, so understand how you find uh, your own niches. Uh, currently, the niches are more based on software, hardware, and country or language. I think in the future it would be much better to have them per craft or per field. So we're already seeing that in the maker community, we're subdividing the maker community. So from jazz, you know, there's acid jazz, and then there's you know. So we have we're subdividing it. So I think that's really an important step. And if the EU and other uh, you know regional bodies uh, are involved with sort of promoting this this transition. Uh, I think it's really important to understand mainly those two points. The first one, make it easy for the layman to participate in the maker economy. And number two, um, is to allow for more flexibility, but particularly focus for certain maker communities to create niches that therefore become economically more attractive.